Greetings once again, people, and welcome to yet another episode of Marvelous Monstrosities and Devilish Designs. Almost tripped myself up there. Um, yeah, this happens to be yet another episode of this one. Um, this time around, though, is a bit of a mystery. Basically, I have something called Magnum. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, I don't have any documentation for this one. I don't really have any information at all for this one. Nothing in the Quake C file. Nothing in the config file that was included with it. Absolutely, positively, nothing for information on this one. It's called Magnum. That's basically all I got. <laughs> um, as far as I can see, it has something to do with the shotgun, I believe. So, that's basically where we're going to work from and try and figure out what exactly this thing does. I really have no freaking clue. I just kind of looked enough to see where exactly I'm supposed to be looking. Because it doesn't even have anything to do with impulse keys. So, needless to say, um, I guess I just load up E1M1 and we see what exactly is going on here. As you see, the shotgun is still just a shotgun. It's not like toggling modes or anything. So, it's not that simple, sadly. Um, let's see here. Does it, like, have more power to it? <clears throat> yeah, that's basically it. You basically can now one-shot a grunt. Amazing. That is what this gun now does. It's literally the same thing, except now more powerful. Aren't you so glad that we got this? Yeah. Just what we needed. A shotgun that's more overpowered. Totally. Let's see how overpowered this thing is. Let's see. Let's go into E1M2 and try and kill an ogre. See, one shot's a grunt, very cheaply. Okay, so it takes about three shots to kill a grunt. I mean, an ogre. Let's see here. An ogre has about 200 health. 7, 14, 21. So you're looking at around like 70 damage or so. Um, let's see here. What would normally like the shotgun have? I think the shotgun normally has about like 20 damage or so, I want to say. It normally is a little bit less than the um, grunt health, which is 30. So yeah, I would say it does normally about like 20 damage. And now it does about 70 damage. Which would also kind of fit in line with where the grunt's being jibbed. So needless to say, a lot more freaking OP. Really OP. Is the double barreled shotgun just as OP? I don't know. Let's see. Oh my god, this is this is horrible. This is horrible, people. Look at this. It's not even doing anything. So not only did the regular shotgun get more powerful, this is a freaking joke. Okay, so it does cause damage. It's ridiculously, like, low. Okay, so you're looking at, like, 5 damage? No, it would be... What is it? 30 divided by 4? Basically, yeah. Okay, so that's definitely interesting. You're looking at more like... Almost like 6 to 7 damage. Uh, more like, yeah, 78, what am I saying? 78 damage or so per shot with a double-barreled shotgun. So we see a ridiculous nerf with a double-barreled shotgun and a massive increase with a single-barreled shotgun. Why exactly is this a mod? What, what exactly was the purpose of this? I'm not really sure, people. Um, I guess Magnum because it... Is it a Magnum, like, a handgun? So what's that have to do with the shotgun here? Why would the uh, why would a Magnum be that freaking powerful? Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't a handgun be more weaker than a shotgun? I don't know. I feel like it's kind of backwards from how it'd be. And then you have the ridiculously nerfed double-barreled shotgun, which is really horrible. Um, yeah, this is a freaking joke. Everyone talks about how bad it, like, is to kill, like, ogres and all that in Quake. This makes it even more of a joke to try and kill anything. So, yeah, it kind of nerfs things, but it's kind of horrible in the way it nerfs things. It's, like, really badly communicative. It makes the double-barreled shotgun so useless I would never want to touch it. Because if it doesn't have, uh, you know, the whole idea of the Devil Barrel Shotgun is that it has a wide spread, but it's powerful up close. This doesn't have power. It doesn't have spread. It doesn't really have anything. It, it's just a totally useless gun. So yeah, I don't really get the logic of this one or why anyone would ever want it in any capacity whatsoever. Yeah, this one, like I said, is kind of terrible. It's kind of pointless. But 
at least we get to see it. It's something that's here, and I guess we can kind of move on. At least we're seeing some September September modifications. We haven't really seen many in September and October, mainly because a lot of them are stuff that is basically just updates of stuff we've already seen. Or it's stuff that's like custom entities and that type of thing. And we're seeing a lot more of that as well. So needless to say, there's not as many modifications as a general rule. But it's nice that we're actually seeing some of the modifications now. As opposed to just seeing like only like two or three. Anyway, thank you all for watching. It's been kind of pointless. And I shall see you all, well, next time.